Today, we'll be learning some of the difficult phrases and vocabulary from West Side Story. Make sure you stay till the end to find out what a heater actually means. Welcome to English Trip Bear. With B. Barrington. We'll be looking at Steven Spielberg's 2021 remake of West Side Story. There are no spoilers, so if you haven't seen it yet, don't worry. ですので、面白いフレーズをいくつか一緒に勉強していきましょう。In English. Okay, okay. We'll be doing the whole video in English, so use the subtitles if you need help. If you don't know the story, it's about two rival gangs the Jets, who are white, and the Sharks, who are Puerto Rican. Both are vying for control over a New York City slum neighborhood. Tensions flare when Tony, the leader of the Jets, falls in love with Maria, a Puerto Rican. Sounds like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, it basically is, just with more singing and dancing. Let's look at the scene where Tony and Maria meet for the first time. Is it okay? There's not much I can do about it, so. I'm sorry. You just caught me by surprise, is all. I'm a by the book type, so. By the book? I'm a by the book type, so. By the book. By the book is an idiom that means to strictly follow the rules. Here's a few example sentences. My boss is always careful to do things by the book. She does everything by the book. Okay, I understand the meaning of the phrase, but I still don't know what Tony is talking about. How is he by the book? The story is set in 1957, and at that time it wasn't really proper for a girl to kiss a boy first. So this catches Tony off guard. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Excellent. Is it okay? There's not much I can do about it, so. I'm sorry. You just caught me by surprise, is all. I'm a by the book type, so. By the book? Let's take a look at the scene where Lieutenant Shrank lectures the Jets. We'll be breaking it into two parts. Your dads or your granddads stayed put, drinking and knocking up some local piece who gave birth to you. Your dads or your granddads stayed put. Okay, we have a few interesting phrases to look at. First, to stay put means to remain somewhere without moving. I need you to stay put in case they come back here. We need to stay put until it's safe. Good. Drinking and knocking up some local piece who gave birth to you. The next phrase is to knock up. This is a vulgar way to say make pregnant. I knocked up two women last year. <laughs> That sounds like you. <sighs> Getting drunk and knocked up is no way to do college. Yeah, that sounds like you. Oh, shut up. Okay, the last word we'll look at from this part is peace. This is a slang term that has a few different meanings, but here it's being used to mean a sexual partner. It's most often used to describe a woman, but it can be used for men as well. It's short for piece of ass. His ex girlfriend was one fine piece. I made a few great pieces of ass at the club last night. Let's take a look at that scene one more time. Your dads or your granddads stayed put, drinking and knocking up some local piece who gave birth to you. That makes so much more sense now. He's basically saying their families have no ambition to become better. Exactly. Let's look at the end of that scene. And if you boys make trouble on my turf, Riff, hand to heart, you're headed to an upstate prison cell for a very long time. And if you boys make trouble on my turf, Riff, hand to heart. Turf is a slang term that means land that someone has authority over. 
Lieutenant Trank is telling the Jets that he controls their gang area. If you don't want trouble, stay off my turf. I'm claiming all this stuff for me. The next phrase Lieutenant Trank says is hand to heart. This means to swear something or to be completely truthful. Oftentimes when we make pledges, we put our hand over our heart. This goes all the way back to Roman times. Lieutenant Shrank is making a promise to Riff that he'll put him in prison. Interesting. You put hand to heart and said you would be faithful. Hand to heart. I won't let anything happen to you. And if you boys make trouble on my turf, Riff, hand to heart, you're headed to an upstate prison cell for a very long time. He's a scary guy. <laughs> you better stay off his turf. I will. Okay, let's move on to the next clip, where Riff and Bernardo are confronting each other at the dance. Let's say, let's say we visit the head. We'll powwow friendly like you, me, and my troublemaking buddy here. Let's say, let's say we visit the head. We'll powwow friendly like. The head is a slang term for the bathroom, which is usually used by men. Women don't use it? They can, but they don't call the ladies' room the head. I see. I need to hit the head. All the guys are in the head right now. The next word, powwow, means a meeting. It comes from the Algonquin Native American language. Whoa, really? That's cool. Yeah. Let's have a powwow tonight to discuss our plans. I had a powwow with my boss yesterday. Perfect. Okay, so in the scene, Riff is saying they'll meet in the bathroom to talk, but not fight. Exactly. Let's say... Let's say we visit the head. We'll powwow friendly like you, me, and my troublemaking buddy here. We have one more clip we're going to look at, but before that, it doesn't matter if you're a jet or a shark. You can help the bears by pawing that like button if you've enjoyed the video so far. Liking really helps us know if we are making content that is useful for you. Also, check out our website, English Strip Bear, to get a more detailed explanation of what we've covered in this video. We have detailed notes, vocabulary, and extra information. Plus, we have a free monthly newsletter with practice exercises, additional vocabulary, and lots more. We release new material on our website for free every Friday. Check it out. Link in the description. Finally, we are going to talk about heaters. Yes. In this scene, Riff and some of the other Jets are in a bar talking to a man named Rory. We got money. I don't sell heaters to unscrubbed boys. These guys, the ones we're rumbling with, they're bringing heat. Because they think we're bringing heat. So we need to bring heat so they know that we ain't defenseless. And vice versa. Mutually assured destruction. I don't know what that is. We got money. I don't sell heaters to unscrubbed boys. A heater is a slang term for a gun. It's a word that was popular in the 50s, but it's not really common these days. He pulled a heater, so the cops shot him dead. The guy next door sells heaters. Unscrubbed means unclean or dirty. The usage here is really uncommon. Rory, the man selling the gun, is using unscrubbed to mean Riff is not trusted. Perhaps he feels Riff's reputation is bad, or maybe he just doesn't know Riff well enough to sell him a gun. Okay, so people don't go around calling other people unscrubbed? This is the first I've heard it. <laughs> okay. These guys, the ones we're rumbling with, they're bringing heat. Because they think we're bringing heat. So we need to bring heat so they know that we ain't defenseless. And vice versa. 
Heat is another slang term that means gun or guns. Don't bring heat to my party. I'm packing heat. Next, we have vice versa. This means in the reverse order. It's basically saying the same is true for the other side. I want to marry her and vice versa. I hate my new boss and vice versa. Mutually assured destruction. I don't know what that is. Lastly, we have mutually assured destruction. The principle that an attack would provoke a response that would destroy everybody. The arms race is built on the idea of mutually assured destruction. We won't attack Russia for fear of mutually assured destruction. Great! You got it! So Riff wants to buy a gun, so he doesn't have to use it? Exactly! We got money. I don't sell heaters to unscrubbed boys. These guys, the ones we're rumbling with, they're bringing heat. Because they think we're bringing heat. So we need to bring heat so they know that we ain't the defenseless. And vice versa. Mutually assured destruction. I don't know what that is. That was great. I learned more than I thought I would. Let us know down in the comments what you thought about West Side Story. If you enjoyed this lesson and want to take your English to the next level, then you need to watch this video on Italian American culture so you can understand movies like Goodfellas and The Godfather like a native speaker. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye. See ya.